Look, I got you some gifts. Say hi. <laughs> hi. Hi, baby. Say thank you. Babies. Babies. Thank you. You're welcome. Taco. Whoops. Okay, so today we have three dolls, and I'm really excited because one of them, <laughs> there was only one girl in here that I was really interested in, and I didn't want to get her until I saw her on sale or something like that. Wait, they're way smaller than I thought they were. Whoa, they're extremely small. Mm, okay, so first impressions definitely has me questioning the price point. Okay, but let's, oops. I like the boxes though. So I did opt to get Sunny and Crystal, well, well Sunny's sister and Crystal's sister. I'm gonna give them to my niece, but I was really curious about the hair type that they used because I don't have any rainbow high dolls with poly hair, so it's gonna be interesting to see. Ooh, that's a really pretty picture on the back. There's no best friend like a little sister. Her hair's cute. Don't like the dresses and stuff, but I guess it's good for what, what they are. I just really want to see if these are in fact worth $10 or not. So let me open them up. Oh, and don't mind this. I was eating strawberries yesterday and I dropped one on the bed. So, okay, she comes with a handbag. And you can open it up, I believe. Okay, that's cute. I like that. And then some shoes. And these ones are actually labeled left and right. That's pretty cool. And then the last thing is <laughs> her little pet, which is kind of heavy. I love the execution of this because you can't actually feel the glitter. The head doesn't swivel or anything. I mean, it's a cute pet. I don't really get it. It's not squishy. You would think that it's squishy, but it's pretty hard. And the doll itself is pretty, she's pretty, um, she has a little bit of weight to her, so that's pretty cool. But I actually don't know what hair type she has. I believe it's poly just by how dry it feels. But Sunny kind of typically has bad hair anyway. I didn't think that they were this small though. That's one thing for sure. This is a, a shocker for me. But it's cute, you know, there's a rubber shirt. Nothing really special. Oh, it's like a, okay, so it's like a whole thing. I think it gets the job done. I think my niece is gonna love her. She's gonna be able to play with her. It's totally subjective whether or not these dolls are worth ten dollars but for me um if my niece loves it then it's worth it i'm really curious about her hair because typically when they do these braids it's normally nylon i gotta tell you after not opening any rainbow high dolls in a long time to come back and open up these it's it's kind of a it's a little jarring to be honest but here's crystal's little sister they're really cute. I think that she's probably going to be one of the most sought after ones. Um, the hair is nice. It's it's pretty similar to how the big size ones are. I'm sure it'll go really well with a boil wash. I like the lips. Very cute. I don't know why the eyes are super far apart on these dolls. Um, they don't have ear holes. No acrylics, of course. And they all have different hand modes and like arm modes and stuff. So it's really cute how she's like posing and how she's like doing the peace sign. Her dress is actually really nice. Uh, is, is that embroidery? No, it's not necessarily embroidery, but it's just like a nice fabric. It's cute, it's simple. And once again, it is attached by just one little Velcro piece. Look, 2024 MGA. <laughs> this is what we've come to. It's just so boring. There's like nothing to talk about. Like, I'm just like, okay, what's next? You know, nothing. Um, I'll update you guys on how my niece feels about them. At least it's not like the actual characters. It's not actually Sunny and Crystal. Like, that would have been sad if that's what they've come to. Like, I'm okay with them as long as that this is just like a secondary product to them, you know? Okay, so let's move on to the main attraction of this video. I'm super excited for her. I, you know, again, I, I waited a couple of months because I just wasn't in a huge rush to buy her previously, but I ended up catching her on a sale and I'm super excited. She has a beautiful curly hair. Where, what, what's her major? She's a, a computer animation focus. Oh, okay. So this is a really nice blue. It's like a green blue, which I, I am a really big fan of because I'm not a huge fan of the Skylar blue that she has, like, you know, I don't know. Something about that, it just doesn't sit well with me. So look how pretty you are, guys. I'm so excited. Okay, well, let me get her out. There's such a stark difference between her and these dolls. Like, it's insane. Ooh. 
Okay, so she has a ponytail. That's a, that's a lot. Okay, so I think that her accessories might be some of the best that I've seen of any of the dolls with accessories because they have like this like, okay, I gotta make this fast because I'm running out of storage and I really wanted this video to be 4K60. So I hope you're watching at 4K60. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember their names, but again, it's really cool that she has an iPad. And here's her laptop, which really looks like chromed out. Look how shiny it is. It looks like she's like a, a hacker of some sort. And the keyboard is colored, so that's pretty cool. All right. And then let's check out the phone, which is also really cool. But this phone doesn't have a handle on the side for her to hold it, so that's interesting. I mean, obviously, I don't mind. Okay, and here she is. Wow, this doll is really amazing. Off, like Out of the box, I, could, I can see how somebody would be super happy with this doll. My doll's face is just perfect. Like... I love the makeup, love the, the blue, the blue green color, seafoam, whatever. Um, the lips are really cool. The eyebrows are like this blue and black ombre. It's just like, it's perfect. Like it's so pretty in person. Overall, it's just a really pretty face. And also like the baby hairs are gorgeous, of course. So this is uh, one of those like really thematical dolls that just like everything about the doll, it reminds you of the theme or like of what they have going on. and. Here she has like a motherboard. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it, it looks so realistic in person and it's crazy how they were able to convey that. And there's some painted detail with like the white and yellow cords. Let me get a close up, it's really cool. Okay, so wow, you can see like an extreme close up of everything. Here's the motherboard. Mother is mothering and it goes all the way through to the back, which they didn't have to do, but they did it and it looks really good. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Like the detail with the little, the little white dots and the chrome. And then making her way down, she has some CDs, which I've always wondered if they were removable and they are not, which is fine. But I think that that's really interesting the way that they decided to incorporate those. And they have like this holographic kind of appeal. And then some headphone jack. Like, it's just really cool, like really cool and unique. Long acrylic nails, again, I love the color. And then these shoes are amazing. These heels, super detailed. They have a lot of color on them and it has some writing on them. Some of the best shoes that I've ever seen on any doll, honestly. And I love the bottom. Look how cool that is. It looks so futuristic and just metallic and cold to the touch and everything. It worked out beautifully. Like she came together really nicely as a, as a doll, as a unit. And I just love the shoes. <gasps> oh, she has a, a keyboard. Oh wait, why is her hand out? Yeah, so she has a keyboard for her bracelet. It's really cool. SH3. Huh. The detail is just, it's astounding. I can't, I can't wait to see how her hair is going to turn out. Okay, so a couple of things that I just noticed after taking her shirt off or the top part of her shirt is that she's like the first Rainbow High doll that I know of that has like a, a plain uh, black crop top, just like a plain black shirt. So I love that for her. This is a piece of lead from when I was like, I believe I was like 13 or 14. So it's been about 10 years. Let's get her washed up. I'm so excited. I gotta charge my phone up though first. But yeah, I love her so much. Hey guys, so I don't know what's going on, but my microphone isn't working with my computer anymore. I think it has something to do with this new update that Apple put out and my computer is no longer sensing my microphone. So I'm really frustrated. I'm not gonna talk that much. So I'm gonna pop in every here and then and to let you know what I'm doing. Just starting off by using cold water at this time and I didn't show it, but I used the hand soap that you see in the background. It's Mrs. Myers. I used to use it all the time. I love Mrs. Myers. I mean, I don't think it makes the hair any different from when you use like hair shampoo or conditioner or whatever. Great, now the fans are spinning on my laptop and you can hear it whatever but um yeah so i'm just using the hand soap to detangle the hair and i really just wanted to get the curls to be how they originally were i just wanted to redefine the curls and see how they would look in like a down out kind of style look at my niece she's all over the place she's like super energetic and she's really curious about everything so <laughs> yeah i knew from the beginning that i didn't want to give her a restyle but i'm definitely open to that in the future i just didn't want to start off with a restyle because i was really curious about her curls and i've never redefined a doll's curls to this extent i don't think i have maybe i have but I was I was due for that. I've been dealing with a lot of straight hair recently. It's just super satisfying to play with. Like Rainbow High curly hair is top tier. 
like i need more curly hair dolls for sure let me know in the comments what exactly this color is i'm not really sure i mean obviously to my eyes it's just, it's just like blue but i'm not really super artistic with like colors and stuff so i wouldn't even think about an alternative phrase for this color besides blue it's a really pretty blue and i mentioned a seafoam green or blue earlier but i don't think that that was correct and what is that other doll's name isn't there another doll that has like blue hair and she rides like a skateboard and she has like a cast on her arm am i making this up i have to look it up it's not holly capri that was way long ago there's like a new character with a skateboard and she's really cool and i want to get her too but she has oh she has straight blue hair i think i don't know let me look it up yeah her name was blue brooks i never knew that until just now i looked it up and i still want to get her i think that she's a part of the what is it no new friends or <laughs> wait it's called new wait what is the line called yeah it's called rainbow high new friends blue brooks Oh, that's a long title. So I did leave a little bit of conditioner in her hair so that way I can get the curls to really be defined. And you know, I like it to be a little more neat once I'm complete. And so I, by accident, I left too much conditioner and you'll see at the end, but it wasn't too bad to the point where it just like ruined her results. But in the future going forward, I, I wouldn't use conditioner or I just wouldn't use as much. But if you do use this method to redefine your doll's curls, make sure that you use not the jumbo smoothie straws that I used at the beginning, but use the smaller ones that I'm using now. Like these ones work better, I think, and it helps to really get the definition that you desire. I'm going to stop talking now because I have listened to the previous ones and I don't like the way that I sound right now. So I'm going to go ahead and go. But I do love you guys. If you try this, definitely send me pictures on Instagram and let me know how it works for you. I can't wait to see. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Won't you leave it at the door?